after the estimation, we can access to this menu, test, where we can have access to a bunch of misspecification tests, but we can also graph the row series and, for instance, the conditional variance. The first graph corresponds to the daily returns of the NASDAQ, and the second one, the estimated conditional variance obtained after the estimation of this model by maximum likelihood, where we see that the conditional variance increases at the end of the sample, which was actually expected, because we see that at the end of the sample, there is much more variability than at the beginning of the sample. After the estimation, we can also forecast forecast the conditional mean but also the conditional variance let me just plot the forecast of the next 10 days and I can also plot a confidence interval for the conditional mean forecast here I select error bands we have the confidence interval, 95% confidence interval for the conditional mean forecast, and we see that the conditional mean decreases after the last observation of the sample. Interestingly, like for the other modules, an OX code can be generated after the use of the rolling menus. The model OX batch comment, available here, OX batch comment, activates a new dialog box called Generate Ox Code that allows the user to select an item for which to generate Ox Code. Let's choose the most recent model that we have estimated. So if you want to estimate another model, say a Garch model, with a T distribution now, we just need to change those two options and run it and we'll get the results in Oxmetrics.